Grieving families in Uvalde, Texas, as loved ones killed in last week's school shooting are being laid to rest. This comes amid shifting accounts of what happened at the school that day. CBS News has learned the chief of police for Uvalde schools has now stopped responding to state investigators. As CBS's Lilia Luciano explains, heartbroken families are now left with more questions than answers. A slow, somber procession. Many dressed in Amory Joe Garza's favorite color, purple, watched as the little girl's casket was carried into the Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Uvalde. A Texas family-run business donated 19 caskets, all customized to what the children liked. As the wreaths and flowers pile on, so do the questions of a grieving community starved for answers including how did the shooter get into the school? Authorities initially said the shooter walked in through a side door left propped open by a teacher. That same teacher walks back to the exit door and door remains propped open. But that teacher's lawyer now says she shut it when she learned there was a gunman. On Tuesday, DPS said that was true. The door was closed, but did not lock when shut like it was designed to. But among the loudest questions is why did it take 75 minutes for law enforcement to confront the killer? This is a parent's nightmare. As her funeral nears this Sunday, 10-year-old Alethea Ramirez's parents are left with haunting doubts of what could have been done differently. I don't understand how police officers, you know, they're sworn to protect and they're outside the room and just hearing gunshots, kids screaming, go in there, save those kids. The largest police union in Texas has urged all of its members to cooperate with the authorities running the investigation into the shooting. Today will be the funeral for Jose Flores, the 10-year-old whose family we met last week, including his sister, Andrea, who survived the shooting and who told us he wanted to be a police officer to protect people from bad guys. It's also the funeral for teacher Irma Garcia and her husband, Joe, who died just two days after the shooting of a heart attack that family said it was more like heartbreak. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas.